Let's see how we can animate a fractal parameter and record that in the sequencer. So first you have to open your level. I'm using Uberbulb example. And then let's open the material instance so we can tweak the parameters. And I'm going to make a loop animation by changing the loop parameter here. Uh, so we can close this. And let's create a new level sequence here. Just hit save, and here you go. Now we can just drag the mesh, the static fractal mesh, into the sequencer, and click the track button here, static mesh component zero, this one. And if you click the plus here, you can see that you again you have element zero in the material parameter. Click on that, and finally, you have all the different parameters from the fractal. So let's select the loop parameter and keyframe that at zero, at frame zero, that's perfect. And then at last frame, so this one, uh, set that to one. Now we should have a nice loop. Uh, the only problem is that you have to change the keyframe here. So it's a linear interpolation. So just do like this and you should have a nice loop.